Hello folks, welcome to Dear Stream English. Do you find that you use the word very too much? Are you looking for a different way to express yourself? Well, in today's lesson, we're going to go through why we shouldn't use very. We're going to look at examples of words that can replace very. And then we're going to practice. Words like very and really are qualifiers, which generally do not add anything important to your writing or speaking. They are unnecessary words, and using them often shows weakness or laziness. The American writer Florence King once said, very is the most useless word in the English language. It invariably weakens what it is intended to strengthen. You may think that saying very big means that you are strengthening the word big, but generally speaking, it makes the word look weaker. Before we continue, please subscribe to the channel. Also, download the free PDF for this video from my website. It will really help you to understand and study all of these words. So let's begin. Instead of saying very afraid, you can say terrified. After watching the horror movie last night, I am terrified of the dark. Instead of saying very wise, you could say sagacious. When I read the works of the Greek philosopher Plato, I feel that he was a sagacious figure. Sagacious. Instead of saying very bad, you can say atrocious. Last night I watched the new James Bond film and I thought it was atrocious. Instead of saying very large, you can say colossal. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was a colossal animal. Instead of saying very angry, you can say furious. She was furious when the thief stole her purse. Instead of saying very wet, you can say soaked. My dog was soaked after he ran through the rain. Exquisite means very beautiful. He wrote an exquisite poem. Feeble means very weak. That is a feeble argument. And on the side it says, he who establishes his argument by noise and command shows that his reason is weak. Or you could say his reason is feeble. Immense, that means very big. The mountain lion lives on top of that immense mountain. Instead of saying very valuable, you can say precious. Precious, she has a precious collection of antiques. Hideous, hideous means very ugly. Sorry, but I do not want that hideous cat. Brilliant. Your nephew is a very clever young man. Instead of very clever, you can say brilliant. He is a brilliant young man. Oh, idiotic. That means very stupid. Well, that was an idiotic thing to say. Superb. I read that book last week and I thought it was superb. That just means very good. Something that is very serious is solemn. Please do not be so careless. This is a solemn issue. Vulgar. Vulgar. Very rude. He made some vulgar comments last night. 
silent. The children are asleep. We must be very quiet. No, we must be silent. Something that is very risky or very dangerous is perilous. We must be brave. We are embarking on a perilous adventure. Something that is very dirty is squalid. Squalid, squalid. I do not want to live in this squalid apartment. When you are very hungry, you can say ravenous, ravenous. Can we please begin eating? I am ravenous. All right. Remember to download the PDF, okay? Because I have listed all of these words with examples on the worksheet. Now, let's practice. Try to create your own sentences using each one of these words. So you should create seven sentences. You can speak out loud or you can write them on a piece of paper or write them in the comments. I'll just leave this here for about one minute so you can practice making sentences. Okay, are you finished? If you have any questions about this material, please write something in the comments. And that's all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to view more lessons and to improve your English. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.